How crucial do you think independence and objectivity are in internal auditing? Well, let's break it down. Independence and objectivity are the backbone of internal auditing. They're the pillars upholding the integrity of the process, the watchdogs guarding the credibility of the findings. Without them, we're walking on thin ice. Imagine an audit where the auditor is swayed by personal bias or external influence. The accuracy of the findings could be compromised. The reliability of conclusions could be shattered. Now picture the domino effect. Misinterpretation of data could lead to incorrect conclusions, and these could snowball into potential legal implications. The ripple effects could be far-reaching, even catastrophic, shaking the very foundation of the organization. But fear not, for there's a guardian at the gate. The role of the chief audit executive becomes critical in safeguarding these principles, standing as the bastion of independence and objectivity within the organization. In order to safeguard these vital principles, the role of the chief audit executive becomes critical. So, what exactly does the chief audit executive do to ensure independence and objectivity in internal auditing? The chief audit executive, or CAE, plays a pivotal role in establishing and maintaining the independence and objectivity of the internal audit function. One of their key responsibilities is setting the tone at the top. This means creating an environment where integrity and ethical conduct are valued and expected. In addition, the CAE is tasked with establishing policies and procedures that promote independence and objectivity. These guidelines act as a roadmap for the audit staff, directing them on how to conduct their work in a manner free from bias and undue influence. To further safeguard independence, it's critical for the CAE to report directly to the board. This reporting structure allows the CAE to maintain independence from management influence, ensuring that audit findings are not compromised or swayed by management agendas. In essence, the chief audit executive is the guardian of independence and objectivity in internal auditing. Let's quickly recap what we've discussed in this video. We began by highlighting the significance of independence and objectivity in internal auditing. These principles are not mere suggestions but rather, they are the bedrock that upholds the integrity of the auditing process. Without them, the accuracy and credibility of audit findings would be severely compromised. Then we moved on to the role of the chief audit executive. This individual is instrumental in safeguarding the principles of independence and objectivity within the audit team. They are the guardians who ensure that these principles are woven into the fabric of every audit process, thereby maintaining the reliability of their team's findings. But remember, these principles do not uphold themselves. It takes conscious effort, vigilance, and integrity. Failing to maintain them can lead to skewed results, misleading conclusions and ultimately, a loss of trust. Remember, as potential audit candidates, the principles of independence and objectivity are paramount to your role and the credibility of your findings.